What's up, Roller Booters? Welcome back. So if you were with us last time, we unboxed and got our kind of initial impressions on the FRX 310 here. Three by 110 millimeter, big wheel, kind of entry level urban skate by FR Skates here. Pick them up at carriersskateshop.com sponsor of this video. Thank you very much for Carriers. We're hooking it up with a pair of these FRX skates while I kind of recover from my aggressive rollerblading mishaps. Um, I'm gonna be blasting around on these things. So thanks again to CarriersSkateShop.com. Go um, check them out if you need any skate gear. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, so go check them out, CarriersSkateShop.com. But so for today, we are going to go blast around in some of the local trails and get our very first impressions on the FRX 310 because as most of you know, I am mostly do, I, mo I usually do aggressive rollerblading. So I'm really excited to get back on big wheels. I've had a little bit of experience with big wheels back um, about 10 or 12 years ago. So I'm really excited to get back on these and go blasting around some of the trails here in San Antonio, Texas. So make sure to hit subscribe, hit the thumbs up button if you do end up liking the video and ring that bell to know exactly when we go live so you can come hang out with us. So without further ado, let's get these laced up and go get some miles in.
All right, just finished up our 15 miles. First 15 miles on the FRX 310 and my first 15 miles ever on a tri-skate. And so I'm gonna talk a little bit about my experience, my first impressions on the FRX 310. And so let's just get right into it. I think the statement holds very true. This is a huge amount of bang for your buck. At 230 bucks, this is just feels like a very quality skate in terms of what you're getting, very, very solid. And so let's just talk really quickly about the fit. Um, so as far as the fit, I think lengthwise, um, it was very appropriate just like when I tried them on initially. Um, for me, I have pretty low arches. So at mile probably 10, I needed to take out the right insole because I felt like the pressure on the arch of my foot was just a little bit too much. And so I think swapping out the footbeds for me um, should solve that problem with, with some that have a little bit maybe lower arches. And I think maybe the padding underneath the liner um, might have kind of a raised arch as well. So I can play with that. And I think it's just a function of just breaking it in. But other than that, really comfy liner. I mean, really, again, feels very quality. And so this being the first time I'm skating this skate and skating a tri-skate, one of the biggest things that I noticed, and again, I have experience skating four by 100 speed skates back 10 or 12 years ago, but it's been a long time. And even then I didn't skate them for very long. And so the first thing, I live in a pretty hilly area here in San Antonio. I basically live right on a hill. And so as I was going, um, I forgot just how fast these pick up, man, they go quick. And so, I, you know, these are geared more towards intermediate and above skaters. And I think that's, that's a really good idea because if you don't really have your, your stopping and turning dialed pretty tight in these, they can get away from you really, really fast. And them being so tall, um, they can really have a lot of speed and a lot of just, you know, forces either moving, working for you or against you. So just to be really mindful of, of that, have your kind of skating, stopping and going and turning all dialed pretty tight before going to something like this. It being a tri-skate with a shorter wheelbase from axle to axle, these are extremely snappy. They turn very, very quickly. That was one of the biggest things that I noticed. And so at lower speeds, they're extremely maneuverable, which is really fun. But at higher speeds, again, I live in a kind of hilly area, so I was picking up speed quick. They're a little bit less stable than a skate with a longer wheelbase, for sure. Which, you know, this is, again, this is an urban skate. It's kind of natural environment is in the urban environment. Like bombing big hills is probably not the, this is probably not the absolute most stable setup to be bombing huge hills at high speeds. That being said, it was really fun. It was still, I could still control it and feel confident, but I could tell that again, because these are so responsive and snappy and fast, which is again, which is really fun, they're less stable at high speed. So just something to be mindful of. With the wheels, um, you know, just practicing power stops out of the box. Um, this, the wheels are super grippy, kind of have that like glossy film out of the box. But after skating for about, I don't know, um, you know, maybe 20 to 30 minutes, you know, it starts to kind of wear off and you're able to do power slides a little bit more effectively and a little bit more confidently, which was fun, which was really cool. Again, as far as the quality of the skate, I can't say it enough. I think it's a solid skate for the money. I'm really, really happy with the, uh, with the skate here. And I mean, I, I, I can't recommend it enough. I think as long as you understand what you're getting yourself into when you're doing this and that you're prepared for kind of the speed and the snappiness of this kind of specific tri-skate, um, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun on these big time. And so if you're looking to buy a pair, definitely go check out carriersskateshop.com. Thanks again for sponsoring the video, Carriers. And uh, if you did like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel if you do like the content here. And with that, we'll see you next time, Rollerbooters. Take care. Which one of these videos looks more interesting to you? This one or this one? Click one to support the channel and to support rollerblading, and I'll see you there.